We have people out all over the country testing the car. I get a call one night from one of the guys because everybody had my phone. They knew they could call it whenever. And that was before cell phones, by the way. And he says, Mr. Brickland, we got a serious problem. Yeah. What, what's the problem? I said, well, I'm in uh, Scottsdale. I've been driving the car in 114 degree heat. It's July or August in Scottsdale. He said, when we take the car, we park it inside in an air condition, probably 65 or 70 degree garage. Okay. Well, I came out and the acrylic body is on the floor. What are you talking about? He said, the acrylic separated from the fiberglass and is sitting on the ground. I said, all the pieces? He said, yeah. I said, well, well how could that happen? It's because we glued it and fiberglass and acrylic move at different temperatures, at different times. So they broke apart. Oh, my God. All I need is one car to do that. And I'm out of business. I can't even imagine doing that. And I say to him, do you have any idea what the solution would be? They said, yeah, very simple. You need a, a bonding material that will go into both materials and be flexible enough for them to move at different rates. Really? No problem. Call up Roma and us. We know about acrylic. We don't know anything about fiberglass. Call up. I forget the fiberglass people. Call up the fiberglass. Ah, we know everything about fiberglass. We don't. In other words, both of us go fuck myself. They ain't got no solution, and they have no intention to try to figure it out. So I call a meeting <laughs> of all my people, none of which do I have a chemist on board, by the way. And I tell them what the problem is, and I tell them, one, we can't have one. And we have to, in we have to invent that bond. And we got exactly 10 days to do it. Or we can't build a car. I got to stop everything from coming in. How can I build a car if I think the body's going to fall off under any circumstance? They invented it. Nobody ever fell off. No piece ever fell off. We never had a problem. It was like it never existed. To this day, I have no idea how that was possible. <laughs> You've had a few uh, nail biters in your life. Whoa, that was the nail biter of every nail biter I've had in my universe. That one scared the crap out of me. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars. 